I want to show you four production cards that I have built so that they exactly fit into my production van. All four cards are built based on pipe connectors and they are on wheels. So it will be easy to move them in and out on set. Just that you know, we have a very small production company. We are a three-man show and we don't do a lot of big gigs. We mostly have small to medium-sized company as clients. So our equipment might differ from what you might use on set. But for us, uh, we evaluated that it's most beneficial that everything is on wheels so we can quickly move everything in and out to our locations. As I said, we have built four cards. We have one uh, production card uh, that is used as a workstation. I have built one card as a light stand card where all the stands and, and supplies for the stands and C stands go. And this is work in progress so I can easier show you how I built each of the cards. So the shelves are missing here, the plywood shelves are missing. So it's just the pipe framing on wheels, which is here. So I will show you this in a second. And here we have, um, I would call this a shelf card. So we have uh, shelves, which you can adjust to different heights. And here in uh, Europe, we use uh, Euro boxes, they come as uh, specified dimensions and you can get them in all different heights and either with uh, some mesh or grid here or without so nothing can fall out. This is easier so you can see what is inside but uh, if you have something that can fall out you just use the solid ones. I have arranged the four cards as I will put them into the production van. So we have a production van with a, a tailgate mounted to the back of the car and the right door I can open, the left door I cannot open when the tailgate is up. I decided to put the camera card to the right side because we don't store uh, valuables in the card overnight. So when we come we can open the right door and put all the valuables on to this production card. Also I have access to this shelves from this side when I can reach around and I don't want to put everything out. Here on the two first positions I have the light stand card and the shelf. So the light stand card is here because this you always need stands and maybe there are some smaller gigs where we don't roll everything out and I just might grab uh, uh, one or two C stands or one of the uh, combo stands. So I can open the side door and have access immediately to the light stands without even rolling all the equipment out of the van. Then this shelf here, this is the most tricky one to reach. So this is the shelf where, where I need to unload the, the van in order to reach it. Maybe you can reach some smaller, smaller items on it, but it will be difficult. So when I pack it, I need to make sure that this is the shelf where I put the items on it that I at least need it. This is our production van built from Opel and the same model is built from, um, I think, Nissan as well as Renault. We have bought a van that comes with such a lift that tilts down and you can fold it up uh, to twice the width so you can easily fit all the cards on it. Two things when you take measurements of your van. One thing is pay attention that this mount here is lower than the rest of the roof. So don't measure the roof here where it's highest. You need to measure from here up to here. This is your max height that your production cards can, can reach. And for the width, I recommend to measure from the wheel case to the wheel case and to give four centimeters extra space between the cars. I only gave two and it was not enough. And here for the side door, please pay attention that here's a rail that is lower and the door is mounted on this rail mount and it's even lower. So it swings in, so pay attention that your distance to the floor is even less here in this corner. I want to show you now in detail how I built every cart. Here the card, the shelf card, is built on pipes of a pipe size in the outer diameter of 26.9 millimeters. It's a smaller pipe size uh, compared to the light stand card, which is more heavy, so I chose a bigger outer diameter of uh, 33.2 millimeters. I'm actually quite happy with the choice of 26.9 millimeters for this card. You can see it is durable enough to get pushed around everywhere, but for me it was critical to save on weight as much as I could, because the car can only carry as much weight, uh, so in a, you can quickly reach the weight limit of the van. This thing here, without the shelves, the plywood, without the plywood shelves, it weighs exactly 30 kilograms with the wheels. 
So let's talk about the wheels. You see the wheels have bearings here, so they can swivel around here. As well, as well they have bearings here and they are um, air filled, so it's, it's easy to push them around. And the wheel height is around 19 centimeters here. The wheels are attached with uh, such a mount, plastic with a screw here on the bottom. And you simply push this into the pipe and then you can screw it and tighten it and nothing will come loose. It's a very easy system to do. Here on the other side of the cart, I have place for floppy flex or other flex so you can easily push them around and they come on height so they exactly fit over the wheel case, over the left wheel case in the WAN. Every cart is built based on the specification that it can fit into a standard elevator in Europe. They have construction laws, how big a standard elevator needs to be at least, and they fit in such a standard elevator size. However, um, this might be too wide for some elevators or for some doors of, for example, meeting rooms. So I only need to lose two screws and I can detach the mount for the flex very, very easily. This will be the front side of the cart and on purpose I have not put steel bars here on this height and this height and this height so it's easier to put the euro boxes in and out and they can become a little bit higher so nothing is in the way and only for uh, steadiness I have put a connector bar here and on the bottom so the thing gets quite uh, solid. This is a shelf. I built it uh, based on plywood and I used two different sizes because again I wanted to save on weight as much as I can. This is the thin size of 12 millimeter thickness and I also used thicker sizes where I needed it of 50 millimeter thickness. So 12 is quite thin but it will absolutely hold everything. It might bend but it's built on purpose, so it, it bends, but it's not worse uh, bending than, than the thickness of, of a pipe. So I still save here on height as well as on, on weight by, by using only the 12 millimeter. So this is a standard plywood and I just cut out the dimensions. So the length is according to three euro boxes so that they can fit in length on it. And um, here I cut the corners out for the steel pipes here. And then I drilled the holes based on the attachment points here. So I use this kind of drill to give it some uh, perforation here so that the screw can very easily sink into the wood and make a very level surface. Very time consuming was all the painting because you first need to paint the shelves from one side, then from the other side, and then from the first side again in order to give two layers to the top. So all in all you need to paint every shelf three times and you have a a lot of shells. I use two different types of wheels, one with brakes and one without. And you make, need to make sure when you mount the brakes on the shelves and the cars that they face to the, towards the back of the wheel because when you push the cart in you have no chance to reach the other end of the carts in order to lock the brakes. And you can see I made a mistake for this cart here where I mounted uh, the wheels on the wrong side, so I need to swap them. This cart is already built and I want to show you the stability of this cart. Uh, bear in mind, it's only the 12 millimeter plywood and you can see you can bend it, but it's again very sturdy and it will hold a ton of, of weight here. At the beginning I was quite concerned with the um, left-right stability that the cart will tip, but it's it's absolutely rock sturdy, so it's absolutely wide enough and it, it will not tip. Let's see the stability in the forward and backward axis. And even, even if you push this cart over rough uh, ground, it will, it, will, it will hold, no problem. So all in all, I would say the pipe size of 26.9 millimeters outer diameter was the absolutely right choice for this cart. So due to the fact that the first two carts uh, have no wheel cases on the side. You can build them a little bit uh, wider than the two cars that are standing at the back. So this car is actually built uh, uh, one centimeter more in width than the car that is behind it. But uh, as I said before, I would recommend when you measure your WAN to give at least four centimeters 
of space between the cars because uh, when they get heavy it can be quite tricky to maneuver them a little bit left or right when you push them into the van. Here for our camera card I was choosing 15 mm plywood both on the bottom and on top in order to give it more sturdiness and I didn't want that the plate will bend when I put weight on it. I also was gluing a carpet on top of it, so it's uh, nicer to work on it with your equipment. What I haven't managed here is to build some side rails that will prevent things from rolling over and fall down. So this will come in future. As you see, we have a bottom plate where you can uh, store the most important equipment for the day. I also bought some drawers that I will install underneath here you, that you can pull out. Here on top, I have already installed a pipe where I want to connect a production monitor. I haven't figured out how to connect it exactly here to this plate, but there are so many mounting options available with pipe connectors, so I bought them and thought I will figure it out later how to connect it. As you can see, this mount for the monitor is on purpose built on the right hand side because we have a wheel case and I attach it here so it comes over the wheel case once you push the cart in the van and this is the thing that sticks out most towards the sides of the van. Here on the side I did the same so we can have a steady cam mount once needed and I would just want to show you it's absolutely sturdy the table so nothing will tip when you put a very heavy weight here on this side or also on this side here. There are two things that I recommend you when you put such end caps on it, you need to glue them on it because when you hit it, they will just come loose. So use some power glue in order to attach them so that they stay here. I would also recommend you to use some Loctite for these type of uh, screws because I, I figured out that they might come loose under vibration. Here we have our can or coffee holder. It's uh, very crucial for being out in every crew member has its own coffee holder ready. Finally, here's our light stand cart. And this design, I was most unsure when I designed the carts because I could see that I will get problems in height when I put the large stands uh, vertically in. But I also figured out that I have a problem when I put the large stands horizontally in that the whole cart might not any longer fit into elevators. So I designed this cart that the long light stands come here on two rows. We have uh, the C stands here and they can reach over the camera cart so that it gets packed in the van like this. So here's enough clearance so they can reach out here. I have three compartments, one here on the right, then the smaller one here in the middle for some smaller rails or, and here one bigger ones where it can fit a lot more light stands in it. So here on top we have one row for all the C stands. They are here on the first row and they are open here so you can get them out here between this gap and here on top I have the heavy equipment so you can put large uh, combo stands here on top or for example the our slider rails and some uh, scrims for the from Intellitech. In the first design I had this rail and this construction a little bit set higher so I put some uh, wooden bars here on the side so that the foot of the light sense don't fall out easily over the edge but later on I decided to move this here down so today I would not any longer need this kind of wood bar here on the side in order to prevent the stands from tipping over the side. So for this card I use 33.7 millimeters outer diameter pipe size and I think it's a good decision because it gets quite heavy and it becomes more sturdy. Uh, unfortunately the whole card becomes also quite heavy due to much heavier pipe connectors. And here you can see that I used straps and the straps are fixed here on position with some rubber bands so they don't fall loose once you open the strap. And I also use the same type of straps here for the shelves so everything is uh, neatly secured. The only difference here for the shelves is that I did not put rubber bands here on the front because I wanted to ensure that I can pull each of the euro boxes out also to the side so I only touch the rubber bands to the back. All in all, I would say you should uh, calculate 10 uh, working days to build everything. So guys, I will give you a link uh, to the list of parts which I bought and everything came pre-cut 
and uh, I will give you the uh, parts numbers from the store where I bought it. I have no uh, connection to this shop, but I just uh, chose it because I thought it was a good service. So please feel free to use it. Feel free to send me a personal message on uh, Facebook and I will give you edit rights for uh, Google Sheets documents. So maybe one can find uh, parts numbers from a US store. So for you guys in the US, you have a list ready that you can just send to the store and uh, order parts if you like to.